What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out some brand new Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl support cards that just got revealed. These are coming out of the 20th Anniversary Legendary Collection, which at this point, I've been covering this set for like the past three weeks. I mean, <laughs> how many cards are in this damn set, I wonder? But yeah, it's, it's interesting that Konami is still trying to make Dark Magician Girl a thing in 2019 because both of these cards actually require her, which is just kind of mind-blowing. I remember when I was a teenager and... Uh, Magician's Force came out. Dark Magician Girl was a secret rare and she was insanely expensive and really popular and it was odd because the card ranged from, depending on who you ask, terrible to unplayable, but uh, she was definitely an expensive card, mainly because, you know, of Arcana's duel versus Yugi in the anime and stuff like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about these two new cards. The first one is a normal spell. It's a hard one to and it's called Bond Between Teacher and Student. It says, if you control a Dark Magician, special summon one Dark Magician girl from your hand, deck, or graveyard, then you can set one of the following directly from your deck to your spell and trap zone. So the cards that you get to choose from are Dark Magic Attack, Dark Burning Attack, Dark Burning Magic, and then a brand new card called Dark Magic Twin Burst, which we'll talk about after this card. Um, I mean, this is, like, this is okay, I guess. I mean... <laughs> The the obvious is why are you playing Dark Magician Girl in 2019? But you you probably already like if you're running a Dark Magician deck you're already going to be running Dark Magic Attack anyways. The other cards, you know, like two of them require Dark, uh, Dark Magician Girl on the field. I think Dark Burning Attack uh, just nukes your opponent's monsters if you have Dark Magician Girl. And then I think Dark Burning Magic is the one that uh, nukes your opponent's, like, uh, their entire board if you have Dark Magician Girl and Dark uh, Magician, the original one. But, you know, Dark uh, Magic Attack is a card you're always going to run because it's searchable from Eternal Soul. It's the Harpy Feather Duster if you control a Dark Magician. I mean, this card is a plus one it does require you to run dark magician girl but hopefully you don't draw her you could potentially activate this you get a monster on board and then you set your dark magic attack from your uh from your deck and you know potentially feather dust your opponent the second card i'm not really that big of a fan of the second card is dark magic twin burst now, keep in mind, as we just talked about, this can be set from the uh, bond between teacher and student. This is a hard once per turn, and it's a normal spell. And it says, target one Dark Magician you control until the end of the turn. That monster gains attack equal to the total attack of all Dark Magician girl on the field and in both players' graveyard. I mean, come on. Did they really need to put both players' graveyard? I know that that was, <laughs> that was kind of a theme in the duel versus Arcana, but what are the odds of your opponent actually having Dark Magician girl in their graveyard? I'm guessing that the odds are somewhere between zero and one percent i just don't think it's ever going to happen there's a couple of reasons why i don't like this card even if you were just playing a strictly for fun version of dark magician i still would not recommend this even though yes it can be set from the bond between teacher and student i still don't think that it's worth it number one it's a neg one i'm just generally not in favor of these cards that just give you attack value and then really nothing else because okay your dark magician maybe it gains 2000 attack then what i mean unless you're attacking for game what significance is that 2000 attack like you're not making any advantage or anything like that so don't love it from that aspect and number two it doesn't even give you the ability to do something that dark magician can't already do right now i mean apprentice illusion magician is a card that all dark magician players for the most part run it's a it's a combo starter it's not really a brick because you can use other cards in your hand to special summon it and then replace that card that you pitch with a dark magician from your deck she has the ability to give one of your dark magicians 2000 attack by just launching herself so i mean i feel like this card doesn't even do anything that you can't already do in the deck and i think that um you know it requires a little too much setup like what if you happen to draw your one copy of dark magician girl and it's in your hand now you got to somehow get it on the field or you got to get it to the graveyard and i just feel like this card is kind of a bricky mess i wouldn't run this i think that if you're running a for fun version of dark magician only i think that you could actually run bond between teacher and student because this one actually like that card actually summons the dark magician girl from your deck so you don't actually have to worry about drawing it or you know to, to basically get it on field and if you do happen to draw it it can summon it from the hand as well plus it's a plus one so who doesn't like plus ones but you guys let me know what you think you know the real problem is <laughs> the real problem with these cards 
and these cards could have both been significantly better but apprentice illusion magician doesn't count as dark magician girl on the field like it's a shame because at the time that she you know was revealed it didn't really seem like konami was going to print any more cards that required dark magician girl but now it's like damn konami why didn't you just make her count as dark magician if you guys have ever played the dark magician deck you'll know that it's very similar to cyber dragons there's a bunch of monsters in that deck that count as dark magician on the field i don't know why apprentice illusion doesn't count as dark magician girl on the field it would make using these cards a heck of a lot easier but that's just my thoughts and opinions you guys leave yours in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos